நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பு எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் இன்னொரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained about the effects of moon in 12 different houses. for the native of cancer ascendant in this video i'm going to explain the effect of moon in 12 different houses for the native of leo ascendant well when the moon resides in the ascendant house for the native of leo ascendant it is considered to be very auspicious moon resides in the ascendant house and it is a friendly house to the moon this is the house whose house lord is sun a friendly planet to the moon moon and sun or mutual friends if you have to make predictions you definitely have to understand the fundamental concept which is the light energy of the moon though moon is the lord of the 12th house which is house of expenses when it resides in ascendant house it is still considered to be good the native is leo ascendant and leo rashi here which makes the mind of the native mature now let me explain the effects of moon in the second house which is virgo for the native of leo ascendant the lord of the 12th house which is the house of expenses should not be in the second house When the moon resides in Virgo it means that moon resides in the house whose house lord Mercury hates Moon is the planet which is considered to be a worst enemy by Mercury whereas moon considers Mercury as its best friend Mercury likes sun very much Sun is the most friendly planet to Mercury whereas it hates the moon Both sun and moon are luminous planets. Mercury loves one of the luminous planets very much whereas it hates the worst another luminous planet moon. Mercury likes its father very much but it hates its mother badly. The second house is the house of wealth. Based on the house of wealth you can identify the wealth of the native Having said this when moon which is lord of the 12th house when it resides in the second house whose house lord hates the presence of moon it is not considered to be good in general the lord of 6th house 8th house or 12th house should not have connection with the second house when lord of expenses resides in the second house it is not good to the house of wealth 
it is not good in terms of money however there are certain exceptions when the lord of the 12th house is in the second house subhatva of the moon will alter these bad effects now let me explain the effects of moon in the third house which is libra moon will not deliver any benefits when it resides in the third house to the ascendant house as per bhavat bhavam though moon resides in the quadrant house to its own house moon should not be in the third house to the ascendant house indeed moon resides in the house of venus which makes moon subhatva however moon will not deliver great benefits when it resides in the third house to the ascendant house and when the native is leo ascendant and libra rashi the moon does not deliver any great benefits now let me explain the effects of moon in the fourth house which is scorpio here i don't think the status of the moon is debilitated because though it loses tana bala it attains dig bala that is directional strength based on the fact that when moon resides in scorpio which is the fourth house of the native of leo ascendant though moon loses its tana bala it still gains dig bala that is directional strength hence the moon does not deliver worse effects to the native it will deliver benefits and please try to understand the concept of subhatva in this case now let me explain the effects of moon in the fifth house which is sagittarius it delivers immense benefits the 12th house lord will be in the 6th house to its own house as per bhavat bhavam when moon has a lot of light energy or when it receives subhatva in the 5th house it will deliver immense benefits now let me explain the effects of moon in the 6th house which is capricorn when moon resides in 6th house it is not considered to be good because it will also get connected to 12th house when moon resides in this house it will deliver results in two ways based on subhatva and pabhatva of the planet let me explain the two ways of predictions if the moon is waxing let us say it is waxing moon heading closely towards purnima or if it is purnima and gets connected with 12th house it will deliver life in a broad or a broad settlement in case if the moon is waning or heading towards amavasya or if it is amavasya then it will not let the native to go abroad at all there is another possibility it might move the native to a foreign country for some years and it will lead the native to suffer and toil and return back to the native place therefore when the moon resides in the 6th house you have to be very keen in making the prediction now let me explain the effects of moon in the 7th house which is aquarius when moon resides in the 7th house it will aspect the ascendant house if the moon is subhatva here then it will deliver immense benefits therefore 7th place is okay to a certain extent now let me explain the effects of moon in the 8th house which is pisces the house lord of pisces is jupiter it is not considered to be good when a luminous planet moon is in the 8th house to the ascendant house though it is the house of jupiter both the 8th and 12th house says that the native will travel abroad it will even deliver opportunities such as share market and negative things for the native of leo ascendant moon should not definitely be in the 8th house though this is the house of jupiter which is a natural benefic moon should not be in the 8th house for the native of leo ascendant there are different dimensions to perceive the house effect 
I will say sometimes the 12th house is one of the good houses because this is the house which leads or which makes a native to spend. The indirect meaning that one can spend money for a reason is that they have some income. If only you have income, you will be able to spend. If only a person has some sort of income, he will be able to spend, otherwise he cannot spend. Just by merely getting loans, one cannot spend the money always. One can borrow money for the first year, second year or even third year. But in fourth year, definitely he has to abscond if he can't pay it back. To sum up, if one has to spend throughout his lifetime, then the 12th house should be very strong. It means the person has a good income, always. 90% of these people will definitely be earning and spending their own money. 10% of the people will be definitely borrowing money from others and might be absconding at some time. And if you observe the 12th house of these people who abscond as they couldn't pay back the debts back, you will see that the 12th house will be Pabatwa. When the 12th house Lord is Subhatwa, or the 12th house is Subhatwa, or when the benefits are residing in the 12th house, then definitely they will be in a position to spend throughout the time period of the major planetary period and minor planetary period of the planets connected to the 12th house. The major planetary period of the planets should definitely support the native in whose natal chart 12th house is filled with benefits, will definitely possess an opinion that more he gives, more he will earn. This native will be very good at donating a lot to others. The person will be very charitable. On the contrary, if the 12th house lord is in the 8th house to its own house, then this quality will be missing in the native. Having said all these, the 8th house lord signifies abroad, life abroad, share market, the charitable nature, gambling, etc. These will not be favorable to the native if 8th house is Pabatwa. Now let me explain the effect of moon in the 9th house which is Aries. As per Bhavad Bhavam, it will be in the 10th house to its own house. For the native of Leo Ascendant, when 12th house Lord is in the 9th house, it will not deliver such worse effects. The native who is Leo Ascendant and Aries Rashi is a good combo. Now let me explain the effect of moon in the 10th house, which is Taurus. For the native of Leo Ascendant, when moon is exalted in Taurus, which is 10th house to the ascendant house, it will deliver great benefits. Since the position of moon in Taurus establishes the connection of 10th and 12th house, moon will deliver exports and imports business. Moon is the lord of the 12th house and it gets exalted in the 10th house. When moon resides in Taurus, it gets exalted and it gains Thanabala. This planetary position will help the native to earn income through share market, gambling, etc. We can't say that the native will earn in a dishonest way. The native will earn in a dishonest way only if the moon is Pabatwa. The native will earn income through easiest ways. The moon will make native to earn quickly. Therefore, the combination of Leo Ascendant and Rishabh Rashi will deliver such a benefit. Based on Subhatwa and Bhabhatwa, you have to make further predictions. When the moon is filled with lot of light energy, that is when it is heading closely towards Purnima and exalted, or if it is Purnima itself, then it delivers more benefits. Now let me explain the effects of moon in the 11th house which is Gemini. When moon resides in 11th house it is considered to be a good position. Because as per Bhavad Bhavam 
the moon resides in 12th house Gemini to its own house Cancer the house of expenses based on the status of Mercury and strength of Mercury moon will deliver benefits to the native of Leo ascendant and Gemini Rashi this is a better position than in the second house as per Bhavad Bhavam since the moon resides in 12th house to its own house it will not deliver such worse effects now let me explain the effects of moon in the 12th house which is its own house cancer let me explain something about 12th house we have to first check whether the house effect is auspicious or not based on the trend of the society in recent decades everybody likes to go abroad for the purpose of education or for a job if one is born as leo ascendant then 12th house should be strong many people who are educated love to earn through the share market the 12th house will help a lot in this regard having said this for the native of leo ascendant the 12th house lot should be strong when moon resides in 12th house for the native of leo ascendant it should be subhatva that is it should be heading towards purnima or it should be a purnima or it can be subhatva moon is considered to be subhatva when moon is between the waning phase dashami tithi to waxing phase panchami tithi definitely moon should not be in conjunction with saturn or rahu saturn or rahu should not aspect the moon when moon that resides in the 12th house is subhatva then the native will go abroad he will earn through share market exports and imports etc the 12th house signifies the final stage of life it also signifies the bedroom it also signifies the death of a person the very last phase of the person is signified by 12th house the end of everything is signified by 12th house for example end of the day end of the week end of the life therefore 12th house should definitely be subhatva the clients who are very older aged will ask me whether they will have a peaceful life during the last stage of their life or will it be a peaceful death there are certain clients who exceeded 70 years of age will inquire about the final stage of their life some will not hesitate even to ask me and some will hesitate to ask such questions there are many people who have asked me a very direct question like guruji how my death will be the 12th house will decide the nature of the death this will also decide how a native will be during the final phase of their life many people are destined to live even after 70 years like 80 years or 90 years for some people living more than 90 years is a boon and for some it will be a curse it is at this time definitely they will be in need of others help nobody can avoid senility and those who are 70 years more or 80 years more cannot definitely avoid this no matter how strong a person is definitely after 85 years or 90 years the person will definitely lose his strength senility will embrace him he will be definitely in need of the help from his wife or children etc if one is going to live definitely more years like let us say more than 85 years this 12th house will explain the status of the life during such period the 12th house signifies the end of the life end of the day what you are going to do at the end of the day will be decided by the 12th house how is your bedroom how is your house going to be how is it going to be end of your day are you going to sleep or not you can find answers for all these questions by the 12th house 
The twelfth house signifies the quality of sleeping of a person. Sleeping is an action that definitely every person needs. A poor man, despite having bitten by thousands of flies, will have a good sleep on the platform. Whereas a billionaire, though his room is air-conditioned and no disturbances at all, would not be able to sleep. All these can be found from the twelfth house. If the twelfth house in one's natal chart is Pabatva, one will not sleep well. The end of life will not be good. A person is born through the ascendant and goes out of this world by the twelfth house. A person is born through ascendant and dies through twelfth house. The twelfth house is such an important house in the natural zodiac. Sometimes many people call the sixth house, eighth house and twelfth house as inauspicious houses. It is not so. Eighth house is also important. It is also auspicious because it signifies the longevity of the person. If one is blessed with all great benefits, yet if still cannot enjoy good longevity, what is the use of birth? The twelfth house indicates the completeness of life. The completeness or the fulfillment of the day-to-day -day life and the completeness of the entire life are signified by the twelfth house. The twelfth house can also signify the completeness of an action. The twelfth house will tell whether you are going to complete an action or you are going to run away while it is under process. Sometimes you might initiate an action but you will not complete it. Rather another person will complete it. For example, you might start a political party but another will be enjoying the fruit of that political party by leading it, by running it. You might even start a business but some people will enjoy the profit of the business post undertaking it. You might imagine that if I could have invested more efforts, if I had taken extra care, I would have become such a great person, I would have become a billionaire or would be in such a great position. These sort of hypothetical statements will linger in those minds who cannot complete an action perfectly but would have initiated better. Some will brood like I started this company but unfortunately I sold this company to another person. I recall the event of selling the Facebook. When Mark Zuckerberg was ready to sell Facebook, the client did not agree with the price. And now you know how much it earns. Some people will sell their ideas to other person. Some might start their business and they will sell their business to somebody else. I explained all these so that you can understand the subtleties in every bhava. The twelfth house signifies the completeness and the fulfillment. It will indicate whether you can complete an action that you initiated. If the twelfth bhava is highly subhatva, then you will definitely reach your goal even abandoning your food or comforts, etc. If the twelfth house is too subhatva, it says that you can sleep at any place where you just lie down, without any comforts. If the twelfth house is good or if the twelfth house lord is strong, then it means you are a charitable person. It means you are donating things to others. Some people will get more than what they expected in life. There are some of my friends who say that they earn more money than what they really expect. Some of my friends who are clients as well will not hesitate at all to say that they are earning more than what they need, which is redundant for them. And that is the reason for them to contribute or to donate to others. There are many people who say that this money is enough for my life. This money is enough for my children as well. Therefore, whatever I earn more than this, let me donate to others. These sort of mindset will be delivered by the 12th house when it is Subhatva. 
Therefore, for the native of Leo ascendant, when moon is strong in the 12th house and Subhatva with a lot of light energy, then it will deliver benefits through all these ways. In my next video, I am going to explain the effects of moon in 12 different houses for the native of Virgo ascendant. Well, this is question time. Is there any good house effect of the 12th house? If so, please list it. Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all the English videos so far published based on the request of our subscribers. The link of Aditya Gurji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box and write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.